Yeah, Ivan, so I got uh, around to building myself a cluster testing uh, sort of bench harness like I built you. Um, now I can test engine harnesses and I made this sort of custom overlay, still working the quirks out of it, but it's nice to be able to bench test that. Um, and I put together a really cool power supply from a computer. I can either show you how to do it or maybe I can put it together for you and trade off some LEDs or something. Or I don't know, what. maybe you've got something going on for a power supply or you're just using a car battery. But uh, this is the... I just put a toggle switch in here to cleanly shut off the power and I'd probably do the same thing if I built you another power supply too just because it kind of winds down when you shut it off. And then you got the switch at the back here that turns the main unit on and uh, I just put an inline fuse in here. Uh, I know I supplied you with some ring terminals, and I just used some, uh, just some two plugs here, so I just got the positive and negative. Didn't have any black wire, so I just made it green. Um, that's the power supply. I cleaned it up, removed any wires that weren't necessary. So I'll just fire it up here, turn it on. You hear the fan come on on the power supply. That's the main shut off of the power. And I just used an ignition switch because I had that instead of using the toggle switches like I did for you. So, works really well. I don't know, uh, I think the, it's about 16 amps, the total that it puts out. I don't know how you could run off of it, but seems to have no problems doing this little stuff. And uh, it is 11.92 uh, volts, doesn't seem to go up and down at all, seems nice and clean and steady, so I thought I'd put that together show you what I did. Alright, to turn it off, turn off the toggle switch, turn off the main supply, and that's it.